my name is Andrew Deemer. I am a organic chef. I'm 32 years old and I love to cook. I just wanted to make this video to show everybody how easy it really is to cook fine dining gourmet food in a quick amount of time. You just do it really fast and it's less costly as going out to any restaurant and you can pick the most high quality of food and just treat your body the way it's meant to be treated. Um, I'm pretty much going to do everything for you guys on the fly today. I don't have anything uh, prepared. I got a lot, a lot of oils and spices, stuff basically that I would get out of my cupboard and refrigerator, stuff that I might just have laying around the house on any given day. I did buy some uh, special seafood so, so we could have a good source of protein in this meal. But um, right now I'm just gonna look at what I got and prepare an appetizer for you guys. So I'm gonna start by washing my hands. I reside in South Lake Tahoe, California. I was born in Flint, Michigan in 1981. And I've been cooking since I've been about eight years old. It is my passion. It is what I love to do. And it's my, it's my life's calling. So I'm gonna look around and see what I have here. See, I have green beans, some Brussels sprouts. I have a mandarin. I have an avocado, a lemon, everything that I have is organic and everything I have is pre-washed as well. So I also have some collard greens here. I love collard greens. I eat a lot of them. They're a really good source of vitamin K and they, they taste really lovely. I have some cilantro, some butternut squash, some red bell pepper, banana, garlic, Right here, I have a spice blend. This is um, turmeric, cumin, oregano, some Himalayan salt, I believe some, some sea salt as well, black pepper, crushed pepper, some various um, Thai spices, and I think that's about it on this. And I think there might be a little brewer's yeast mixed in there for well, as well for uh, nutritional value I use a lot. I use that a lot in my cooking. I have flax oil. I have um, organic tamari, which this is a really fine soy sauce. I have olive oil and I have coconut oil. Um, basic just tools that I have. You know, I have a couple, couple knives I use, a cleaver, spatula, my pots and pans. Um, I'm just going to do it how I would do it any given day for you guys and show you how easy it is. So a lot of my food, I do it with um, steam. I cook it with steam because I like to retain the health benefits of the food. I don't like to overcook anything. and I like to have everything just really, really fresh. So I think I'm going to base this meal off primarily steaming which is um, an easy way to cook in the kitchen without dirtying a lot of dishes or pans. I can show you just how easy it is. So what I'm gonna start here, got a simple little steamer basket. I am going to use just this small, this door, just this small pan here. I'm gonna fill it with about about an inch of water in there. I'm gonna lay my basket in there. Bring it over to the stove. I'm gonna put, put it on high just for a minute so it can get boiling.
my background is in cooking has been I've cooked for a variety of different sorts of restaurants and I've been a sushi chef for the last off and on probably about 10, 10 years now. I've worked French cuisine for a few years under a very, very great chef. I've also, I've also worked just from as simple as flipping burgers at a burger joint. So I've had, I've kind of been all around, all around the cooking scene and I love it. You know, it's never been a matter of, it's never been a matter of money to me. It's more like, it's my passion. I want to show people what I've learned to do through just hearing food talk to me and communicate with me and hearing how it, how good it makes you feel and how, it, how, how your day is just so much brighter after you eat a good meal. And so I seem to add some butternut squash, just peeled it up, kind of sliced into it, little medallions here. I'm just looking around. Um, I also have some bell pepper. I'm gonna take a little, little bit of the bell pepper here as well. And I think we're going to think we'll julienne. We'll julienne the bell pepper. Keep it julienne for right now. And what else do we have here? I have some green beans. These little green beans. Take the ends off them here. I would do this prior, but I just want to do everything all on cue here today. So I'm going to make serving about enough to feed two people. Keeping it mindful, I'm listening for my water to start boiling in the background. And then it gets it ready so I can start adding my butternut squash, which is going to take longer to steam rather than the green beans. Or the bell, or the bell pepper. Okay, I'm gonna turn it just to medium for right now. Okay. I also have some Brussels. Right now, I'm probably going to leave them whole. Okay, I'm going to put these all in a little bowl and give them a little bit of my Spice mixture. I got the Brussels sprouts and the butternut squash in. They're gonna be the, the hardest ones to cook. They're gonna take the most time, so I'm gonna get them started first. So I put my spice mixture in here. A little bit of olive oil. A little bit. Give it some good, some good flavor. Okay. I'm gonna get these started steaming. Just keep this a little bit dirty for right now since we're going to be using it just in a minute again. Uh, 
Uh, for this dish, I gotta keep in mind my proteins. I have three different kinds of fish today. I have a petrole sole, I have a coho salmon, and I have a red snapper. They're all wild caught. All my fit, all the fish I use is always wild caught, never farm raised. Just do the same. Slice, not too much. That's enough. Give it some good, good flavor. Okay. I'll put these on last. I think for this dish, I'm going to use the petrole sole. I have a filet right here. Since I just previously cut veggies on this board, I think I will use this cutting board for my fish as well and just clean it later. Fish a little. It's a really nice fish. I wanted to use it because of its color as well as its taste on this plate. It's going to be really, really good. So, I'm just going to keep everything in this spice mixture today. I really, really like it and it just makes food taste so terrific. So I believe a lot with food is that it has very, very, very great healing powers. And that's why I like to showcase all my food well, to be able to heal people. I believe the, bo the body, given the right, you know, the right food and the Right, exercise is just capable of doing anything and accomplishing great feats. So I'm going to let this sit just for a second. I'm going to check on my butternut squash and Brussels sprouts. I really like my vegetables to have more of a crunch than be soft. So I never really want to overcook any of my food. I have a habit too of always washing my hands frequently from being a sushi chef. Um, it taught us a great deal of discipline in that in that industry is you keep your hands washed at all times. You don't want to cross contaminate, you don't want to put anybody at risk or your food really isn't as good as you think it is. So I am going to take now my my green beans and my bell pepper and I'm gonna put them in the steamer and I'm gonna kind of put them in in a way is like layer them, the green beans and the julienne bell peppers. And after that, I'm gonna put my sole on top of them. And this will make it so Sole's only going to take a couple minutes to cook. It's very, very delicate fish, but this will just, the sole will just give all the flavor to all, all my, met, my vegetable melody that's in, in the steamer. So, I'm going to go over to my steamer. Be careful at home. Steam, steam burns can be very bad, so you want to Definitely use your discretion towards this part of it. Okay. 
Okay, so I'm already starting to think my plating at the moment. A lot of color in your food makes everything beautiful. So your food always, I was always told that when you look down at your the meals you eat, they should look like a rainbow. So that's how much variety you should have in your food. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna finally mince some cilantro down. I love the taste of cilantro. It's just something that really, it's really, really incredible to me. Got a great, got a great smell to it and it puts a great little green taste to any food you put in. Very individual flavor. So, just gonna keep getting it a little, a little fine. It just makes it look really nice on the plate too. Well, you get it nice. One more minute, and then I will be putting my soul in there. And I think I'm going to just soup it up just a little bit. I'm going to do, for an extra little punch, I'm going to get a pan started to get heated up here. I'm going to use a little bit of coconut oil. This is where the more glamorous part of cooking is going to take place here. Some coconut oil. It would be my minute sometimes. Beautiful, beautiful little creature. I'm gonna take some coconut oil and get warmed up, and I'm gonna make two. I'm gonna make two over easy eggs, and I'm gonna place that on top of my appetizer. I don't really know that exactly, but I'm gonna out actually. Just ideas are coming to my head. I'm gonna get my fish portioned up a little, a little smaller at this point. So, I got my fish here. I'm going to take them and place them in the steamer. Just cutting board to be washed here. I do apologize for my dog as well. Um, I was going to put him in the other room, but I figured that just wouldn't be fair. So, he's with, he's with me through it all, so I'm going to just hope he quiets down here in the next couple minutes. But if not, we'll roll with it. Just a little added distraction. Not a big deal. So, I'm going to take my eggs.
I'm gonna crack three. I only need two, but I'm gonna crack three. Just one for one for good measure. are going. Plates ready. Dog is still barking. Change it up a bit. I think I'm going to do these eggs sunny side up. So I'm going to do, I'm going to let them cook just a little bit longer how they are, and then I'm going to cover them. I think it'll be better for for the presentation of my dish. So our vegetables, our fish are almost done. We're just waiting right now. Um, See, we got an avocado here as well, and a mandarin. Sometimes, depending on how ripe your avocado is, you just kind of peel the top. Something I learned in sushi. And something I always keep with. All right, I hear my eggs cracking here. So I'm going to turn them down just a little bit. Cover them. Take off. Take off my pot. All my steamed vegetables. So I'm going to make kind of like. Little, almost like a guacamole dish. Just add a little acidity to the plate I'm going to use. Mandarin, Mandarin sago. Eggs should be getting another done. They don't take long to cook this well. Take my eggs off the heat. I'm gonna allow the steam to still kind of cook the white. And cube up. I always like my guacamoles to be chunky. Some people, it just depends on the person. I'm also deciding that instead of leaving these mandarins in their segments, I'm gonna, I'm gonna dice them up. Careful. Just gonna dice them. So of all the cooking that I've done, in all the places I've worked, from French cuisine, doing burgers, to sushi, this is the style that I've adapted to. This is how I cook for myself. This is, you know, I'm always integrating new new things. I go to the grocery store and I really don't have a plan what I'm going to do. I just grab a whole bunch of stuff that I know tastes really good and it's really good for you. And I put it all together and... Kind of just see how it see how it goes. So all my eggs are perfect. Sunny side up. So we're gonna do the plating now. Gotta be really careful again when they're steaming. It can be extremely hot if you don't really monitor it and let your stuff cool down. So here's our whole basket of our vegetable medley. 
And we got our fish right here. So absolutely. Yeah. So how would I play this? I'm gonna take my medallions, butternut squash, and I'm going to play uh, I'm going to make almost like a Napoleon. I'll let you guys know I've never done this before. This is the first time ever. It just came to me. I've seen the stuff and it just sort of came to me. So I got my butternut squash. So I'm going to layer it. I think I'm going to put next a piece of my uh, trolle sole. Another piece of petrole sole. Maybe a few bell peppers. Cross my sole. Do a other layer of squash here. Squash. Put a layer of sole. Sole. We do green beans. So we do the We got our Brussels sprouts. These I want to open up. That's presentation. That's open. Plating is, might be the funnest part of it. It's the artist when you really come out and kind of just take it wherever, wherever you want to take it. So, right here I have my cilantro. I'm going to kind of give the plate some for right now. I'm also going to put a little 